So we were discussing the parameter area, circumference, and volume. And uh, today we are going to discuss the volumes of uh, solids. So these are the example, and we will discuss each of these. First is what is volume? The volume of a solid is the amount of space inside the solid. So any solid, the content, the amount of space which is inside that solid is the volume. You know, just consider this cylinder. If we were to fill the cylinder with water or any other molten state liquid with water, the volume would be the amount of water that the cylinder could hold. This is the volume. Okay, let it fill up. This is the volume, complete volume. So, how to measure the volume? The volume is measured in cubic meters, cubic centimeters, or cubic units. That is, if it is in centimeter, centimeter cube. So here is cubic centimeter for you. This is, it is a cube which measures one centimeter in all direction, one centimeter, one centimeter, one centimeter. Length is one, width is one, and height is one. So it will be one cube. We now see how to calculate the volume of various shapes, volume of cuboids. So this is the cuboid. This is the length, width, and height. So we'll first calculate the area of the base of the cuboid, this one, and that will be that will be ten multiplied by three. So what it will be, will be ten into three. This is ten into three, which will be area of rectangle, length into breadth. Ten into three, that is thirty centimeters square. Now we can place thirty centimeters square on the base of the cuboid, but we can also place thirty cent cubic centimeters on this base, like this. How many? See these numbers of thirty, thirty cubes or thirty rectangle can be placed up till height four. So here we now we have now got uh, to find the um, how many layers of one centimeter cubes we can place in the cube. How many? This way. So we can fit in four layers of unit size. So this will be 30 into 4, which is nothing but 120 centimeter cube. So that means we place 120 of our cubes, measuring a centimeter in all directions inside our cuboid. Now we have to find the volume of the cuboid, which is given by 10 into 3 into 4. So we come to the conclusion that volume is of the cuboid is length into breadth into height, which is LBH in short. So what goes in the box? We calculate the volumes of the cuboids, ten into five into seven, four ninety, and try to calculate these two also. This is thirty nine point three, three point four, three point four, three point five. Multiply here eight point nine into two point seven into three point two. That is seventy six point nine meter cube. Then the cross sectional area. When we calculate the volume of the cuboid, this we found the area of the base. How? 10 into 3. This is the cross-sectional area. The cross-section is the shape that is repeated throughout the volume. And we then calculated how many layers of cross-sections made up the volume, like this, this. So now it is complete. So this gives us the formula for calculating other volumes also. So volume is nothing but the cross-sectional area into the length. This is a generic, a general formula. So for the solids, uh, which are just coming up, the cross-section area required for calculating the volume for this, this is a circle. So it will be circle as the base. This is the rectangle, right angle triangle, not rectangle, but right angle triangle. And now here we have a pentagon. And in this case, what we have, we have a rectangle A1 and a semi-circle on it. So the volume of a cylinder would be just consider this cylinder with a base, the base with a diameter four and the height as six. So it, the height is six centimeter. What is the size of the radius? Which is two centimeter. Four by two is two centimeter. So volume of the volume of the cylinder will be cross section into height. So it will be the what is the shape of the cross section? It is circle. Circle is circle is what? It is 
pi r square. So let us calculate the area of the circle that is pi r square. And how we can calculate 3.14 into 2 into 2. So the area would be 12.56 centimeter square. And now we calculate the volume. How? As we know, this is going to fill it up six times. Now it's, it's filled up. So we'll multiply pi r square by, by the height that is 6. So 12.56 multiplied by 6 and that will be the volume 75.36 cm3. So the formula for the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h. What is the volume of triangular prism? Just consider a triangular prism like this. This is for right angle. So the volume as we know by now that volume is cross section into height. What is the shape of the cross section? It is a right angle triangle. So we know the triangle is this. So we calculate the area of the triangle. This is half into base into altitude, half into base into height. Base is 5, height is 5. So it will be half, that is 0.5 into 5 into 5. What is the area? 12.5 cm square. Now we calculate the volume and we know by now that volume is cross section into the length and that is 12.5 into the length, that is 8. So V is equal to 100 cm. So the volume of a triangular prism is nothing but half into base into altitude into length. So what goes in the box? We calculate the volume of the shapes. You know how to calculate it is pi r square h half into b into base into height into length. Similar case, if this is the height. Let us calculate this first. This is 30 meter cube. This is half into base that is 6 into altitude that is 8 and after calculating this cross-sectional uh, cross area we will multiply it by 12. So this will be 2288. Let us take more complex shape, calculate the volume of this shape. So how can, cal how can we calculate it? We calculate the cross-sectional area first which is going to repeat. So this is A1 that is this is a rectangle first of all. And now this is a right angle triangle, so we can combine that. We have to combine this A1 plus A2, then, in, then only we can get the cross sectional area. So this is nothing but 12. What is this 12? So this will be 12. So 12 into 16, A1, and half into base, that is how much is remaining? 20 minus 12 is what? This is 8, 20 minus 12. So half into 8 into altitude, altitude is what? 16. So half into 8 into 16. We add them up. And the answer would be 256 meters square and that is the cross section area. And how to compute the volume? We multiply it by the length that is 23. So volume is nothing but the cross section area into length that is 256 into 23. And that is 2888 meter cube. Let us take one more example. This is a shape. So how we are going to compute it? We can create the cross section area that means this area. And this consists of A1 plus A2. This is a1 plus a2. What is a1? a1 is 12 into 10. This is 10. 12 into 10 because this is a rectangle. What about this semicircle? We know that pi r square is the area of a circle. We divide it by 2 so it will be a semicircle area. Pi r square radius is what? If this is 12, radius is 6. Half of diameter. Diameter is 12. 12. So we divide it by 2. So half into pi into 6 into 6. That is combining this area, the area will be 176.52. Now we can calculate the volume. How to compute the volume? Cross sectional area into length. That is 176.52 into 18 and that will be 3177.36 cm3. Let us take example this one. How to calculate it? This is I leave it as an exercise for you. 4466. The answer of this is 19156.2. Try please try it out and check the answer. Then volume of a cone. If this is uh, cylinder, this is a cone. So the diameter the of the top of the cone and cylinder they are equal, right? So the height of the cone and the cylinder they are also equal. So if you fill the cone with the water and empty it into the cylinder, how many times would you have to fill the cone to completely fill the cylinder uh, to the top? Let us take one. 2 and thrice. So that, that, that is 3 times. So this shows that the cylinder has 3 times the volume of the cone with the same height and radius. So the experiment will give us the formula. Volume of the cylinder was pi r square h 
we have seen that three times we have to fill the cone then only the cylinder can be filled of the same diameter and height so the formula of the volume of a cone is 1 by 3 pi r square h pi r square h divided by 3 where r is this radius height is the height of the cone so let us compute the volume 1 by 3 pi r square h what is the radius r is 6 height is 9 we will place it here and the answer would be 339.12 what about uh, this one? Radius is 9 because this is 18, so radius is 9, height is 19. We'll place the values and the answer would be 110. Now we'll calculate the volume of a sphere. So, using relational solids and pouring material, we noted that the volume of the cone is the same as the volume of hemisphere. Okay, so the, in the math language, the volume of the cone is half the volume of sphere. So, 2 volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere. What was the volume of cone? That was 1 by 3 pi r square h. So, two of these combined to form a sphere. And we already know the formula of the cone. That is, volume of cone is nothing but volume of cylinder by 3. That is, pi r square h by 3. And we know that volume of cylinder was area of base into height. That was area of the base and height. Area of the base was... So, let us summarize what we have just seen. Area of the base into height. Volume of cylinder is this, volume of cone is volume of cylinder by 3 and volume of cone is nothing but the volume of cylinder by 3 and volume of cone is area of base into height by 3. So now 2 into volume of cone is equal to volume of sphere that is volume of sphere goes to 2 into volume of cone volume of sphere that is 2 into volume of cone to sphere and 2 into area of the base into height by 3 that is volume and by now we know that this is pi r square h and this is 3 that is 2 pi r square h by 3 this is the volume of the uh, sphere but by now we know that h is equal to 2r height is equal to 2r so h is nothing but 2r see the height is 2r equal to the, to the diameter we will place h equal to 2r and this is 4 pi r cube by 3 because 2 into 2 is 4 and we combine these two r r cube so this is the sphere so volume of the sphere becomes 4 pi r cube by 3 so hope you got this idea volume of the sphere is 4 pi r cube by 3 and uh, we will also compute the volume of the pyramid this is the pyramid so how to compute the volume of the pyramid the volume of the pyramid with height h and base b is given by half into b into h so b represents the area of the base that is nothing but l into w so find the volume of this it can be easily computed by 1 by 3 into 3 into 6 into 7 that is 1 by 3 18 into 7 and this is our 42 centimeter. So summary, let us take summary. Volume L into B into H for cuboid. For our uh, cylinder it is pi r square H. For this figure it is half into B into H into L. For cone 1 by 3 pi r square H. For sphere 4 by 3 a pi r cube we have seen. And just previous to that the all volumes are just taken as the cross-sectional area into height. This is what we need to understand. Thank you so much. Take care.